I had a question posted in the comments box on one of my videos and it was asking how do you deal with declination when you're doing triangulation? So I've changed the answer slightly because triangulation tends to be used by sailors whereas trekkers and hill walkers tend to use a, a resection. The difference is with triangulation you need three compass bearings and for a resection you only need two. So first things first, what is declination and what is a resection? Now, I've done lots and lots of videos about declination, so I'm not going to go over it all again today in too much details. But the basic idea is that your compass points in a certain direction and your map points in a different direction. And the difference between the two directions is called declination. Now, a resection is a method of finding out where you are on a map. Again, I've done lots of videos about this. The theory is, is that if you take two compass bearings off a ground feature that you can recognize on the ground and on your map, then what you do is you draw those compass bearings onto a map and where those lines intersect, that is your location. Okay, <laughs> so that's a really basic run through of what declination is and what a resection is. So, back to the question. How do you deal with declination when doing a resection? The idea is that, as I said, you take compass bearings from a number of land features which you can identify on the ground and also on your map. Now you draw those bearings onto your map and where the lines cross that's your location. But as you can tell from the question if you're in an area where there is some local declination you know which there is in most parts of the world you'll need to make adjustments before you can draw those lines onto a map. I'll give you an example. I've got a map here. Um, I'll, I'll drop this onto your screen so you get a better idea. So let's say that you're walking around this area and you're not sure where you are. Now you know that you're standing next to a stream so you take a bearing down the stream and you can see that it's around 235, 240 degrees. You know that's approximately southwest and you look at your map and you can see that there's only one stream going downhill in that direction. So you know that you're stood next to this particular stream, but you don't know exactly where you are on the stream. Now, there's a number of ways you can find out where you are, you know, along, that, along the stream. But today we've decided to, to do a resection. So you look around, I'll, I'll drop this back onto your screen. So you look around and you can see this very distinctive bend in the river to your right. And on your left, you can see the summit of this hill. And you can identify both of these points on the map. So you take a compass bearing to both of these. Now, in the UK, at the moment, there's, there's virtually no declination. So all you do is you would draw that compass line, you, that, sorry, you draw that bearing onto your map. And where the two lines intersect, that will be your location. But the UK is slightly different at the moment because in most of the world there is some declination and don't forget and this is the main point of this video so it's very important when you take a compass bearing you know to something you point the compass at it and then you rotate the bezel until the needle is directly over the center of the orienting lines or the orienting arrow if you've got one basically it's red in the shed but the direction from where you are to the magnetic north pole now that's the direction that your compass needle points. This will be different depending on where you are on the Earth. As an example, let's say that you're in Lake Tahoe in the USA, where the declination, I checked this morning, the declination is around 12 and a half degrees east. Or you could be in an area um, in Japan near Kyoto. And at the moment, their current declination is eight degrees west. So different declinations. So for your re resection, you take a, a bearing to the bend in the stream and the summit of the hill, and then you need to turn these magnetic bearings, don't forget, it's a compass bearing, so it's a magnetic bearing. You need to turn these compass bearings, or magnetic bearings, into grid bearings that you can use on a map. And the way you do this is you need to add or subtract the local declination from your compass bearing. Okay, you might have to replay that section again if you didn't quite get it. Now, when you hear anybody talking about declination on YouTube, or you could get some information from the internet, or you could look at the index on your map, it's normally the difference between a map bearing, 
and a compass bearing. So this is what most novice navigators want to do. They just want to take a bearing from a map, set it on their compass and then they want to walk somewhere. And when you do this, you know, you take a bearing from your map and you adjust your compass for the local declination. It's, it's normally called WAVES, which stands for West Add versus East Subtract. So if you take a bearing from a map, you would add the declination if your local declination is west, and you would subtract the declination if your local declination is east. Oh, just a quick point about this. The whole of the UK used to have an east declination, and we used to use an acronym, and it was mag to grid get rid, grid to mag add. But the problem with that is it only works for around half of the world, you know, <laughs> and it won't work anywhere in the UK after around 2027, which is why we now use the acronym WAVES, you know, W-A-V-E-S, as this will work anywhere in the world. Now, don't forget that declination depends on where you are in the world, and our map, or, you know, assuming this map is the area near Lake Tahoe, the declination is 12 and a half degrees east, or it could be a map of Kyoto, or Kyoto region, and the declination is 8 degrees west. Now, both of these are map to compass declinations, which is what you normally see on the internet. But in this case, we've used our compass to take a bearing, you know, to the bend in the stream and also to the hilltop. So in this case, we can't use the standard map to compass, you know, waves, as we need a method of going from the compass to the map. So we have to do exactly the opposite of waves. If you were near to Lake Tahoe, the compass bearing to the stream bend would be 202.5 and to the summit of the small hill, it would be 159.5. Now, both of these, as the declination is 12 and a half degrees east, we need to add these declinations to the bearing. If we were in Kyoto region, the compass bearing to the stream would be 303, and to the summit, it would be 180. And as the declination is eight degrees west, we need to subtract that declination from the bearings, okay? Now, both of these will give us a map grid bearing of 295 to the stream and 172 to the summit. We draw these lines onto a map and this will give us our current location. As I said, it sounds complicated, but maybe that's just because I, I'm breaking it down or maybe I'm just bad at explaining these things. But when you do these type of resections in the real world, once you get, of, you know, you get used to doing them, they can be done really, really quickly. So don't forget, from a map to a compass, it's west add, east subtract. From a compass to a map, it's west subtract, east add. Thanks for watching.